Hey guys, Hypeus in a Half Shell, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be looking at four pairs of bottoms, all coming from H&M. So I'll first be taking a look at two pairs of jeans. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys what to look out for in the store to achieve some pretty sick jean stacks. Uh, then I'll be looking at two pairs of shorts, one of them being a pair of sweat shorts, which I DIY'd to kind of get this fear of God aesthetic. So the first jean we're going to be taking a look at are the skinny lows. So when you guys are in the store, you guys want to look for the tag that reads skinny and low waist. These jeans will run you $19.99 before taxes. Uh, the material is light and it is a bit stretchy thanks to 1% elastane. Um, if you guys are looking to get the stacks, I had size of 1 in order to get the longer inseam as well. I went with the 32-34 in this case. So when you're looking at pros and cons of the jean, uh, for $20 you're getting a pretty good fitting pair of jeans. In my opinion, the color is great and they stack very well. Uh, however, on the flip side, you're paying $20 for a, pair, for a pair of jeans, quality may be an issue. And uh, there is a black pair as well, however when I tried them on in a similar size, I just found that it looked very cheap compared to the blue one, very ashy. So the next pair of jeans I'm going to be looking at are the H&M uh, label of Great Goods or L-O-G-G, -G, uh, side brand, slim salvage denim. Uh, so when you're looking for this, you're going to be looking for the tag that says L-O-G-G. -G. So I actually got this pair of jeans uh, on a sale. Uh, they were $55 and they were reduced to $20. Um, I went with a 31-32, so they're true to size. And I did get them tapered in order to have the fit you see in the video. So if you guys do manage to get this pair of denim on sale like I did, it's definitely worth the price. Uh, for $20, you're getting a good, stiff feeling denim, like all raw self denim should feel. And uh, after getting tapered, it does look great. It stacks very well. Uh, some cons is that it is an H&M salvage denim, so it's going to be different quality-wise compared to uh, nudie and uh, naked and famous, of course. So because the weather is getting warmer now, I decided to also review a pair of shorts that I found that were very well fitting. Uh, these are just some light wash uh, denim shorts that I got for $19.99. Uh, they run true to size and uh, the biggest thing for me here is that the fit of the short is actually very nice. Uh, some shorts they feel a little too baggy or a little too tight. I find that these ones actually sit just above the knee perfectly and aren't too tight so you can still maneuver around. So lastly, I'll look at the sweatshorts. So the sweatshorts are from the Divided H&M brand. Uh, they'll run you $15. Uh, the reason why I got them is because when I saw them in store, they reminded me of the Fear of God sweatshorts because of the sweatshirt material and the raw hem at the bottom. Uh, these shorts did come with a rope lace attached to them though, so I went to a craft store and picked up some suede lace just to give it more of that uh, fear of god um, aesthetic. Pros for this sweatshirt is that uh, for the price you're paying, it's $15, very cheap and they're very comfy. Uh, the rope laces, they don't actually look too bad, I just switched them out again just for that aesthetic. Uh, cons are that uh, quality is an issue. These are sweatshorts, they're gonna shrink. The raw hem is kind of uh, loose with loose strings everywhere, and um, they are a little bit short, like I said earlier. So, if you guys had any other questions regarding sizings or recommendations, or how to get suede laces or how to taper jeans, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you guys like the video, uh, like and subscribe, it helps a lot. I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me, and I'll see you guys next video.